आर्काइव्स ऑफ प्रसार भारती प्रेजेंट्स द टाइमलेस ट्रेजर ऑफ गोल्डन एरा अस्तुत्तरस्याम दिशि देवतात्मा हिमालयोनाम नगाधिराज पूर्वापरोतो निधि वगाह्य स्थितः The Himalayas, snow-clad chain of mountains, alert like an eternal protector, proclaiming majestically of their heavenly beauty. The dancing streams flow down, resounding the atmosphere with a magical music. Apart from its scenic beauty, this unique range of Himalayas is the source of an enormous quantity of water which is fed into the major rivers of India. This river water is not entirely due to the melting of ice. It is because of the Himalayas capturing the monsoon clouds in summer to yield heavy precipitation. The abundance of water is added to the natural beauty of the Himalayas and its surrounding regions and unusual varieties of flora and fauna. Due to the water and forest resources, man has lived in this region for thousands of years, practicing agriculture. Forests play a fundamental role in the maintenance of soil productivity by providing fodder to the animals who in turn provide manure to the soil. Despite the rich forests and water resources, life in the Himalayas is not easy. Fodder, firewood and water have to be collected from long distances and carried manually. People living in the interior of the Himalayas accepted this hard life with contentment because of the natural forest cover. The forests not only provided the basis of this life, but also ensured the fundamental stability of soil and the water cycle. Firstly, when the intensive rainfall comes from the sky, the forest canopy intercepts the rainfall and breaks its momentum, thus saving the forest from a direct attack of the incoming rainfall drops. When the rainfall drop is intercepted and it comes down to the soil level, the soil is already covered by what is called humus, which is formed by degraded biomass normally the leaf litter. In this forest you can see a good leaf litter spread all around and in due course of time these leaves are transformed into a spongy material called humus by biological degradation and the action of the microbial uh, fauna which exists in the soil. And this leads to a good defense against the soil erosion and associated problems. But the situation is not the same in all parts of the valley as you will see when we go to the open areas, the degraded areas and the slopes that does not normally have good forest cover. The Himalayas are dying with blasts of dynamite and are scarred by the remains of what were once lush forests.
environmental degradation in the Himalayan region has drawn the attention of the entire world. The situation, especially in the Dune Valley, has been the topic of intense debate. The valley, which had the best water distribution system provided by nature itself, is totally devoid of water. The greatest tragedy is that this doom of the dune is being created by man himself. The dune valley, situated at the foothills of the Himalayas, is surrounded on the west by the river Yamuna and on the south by the Shivalik hills. The eastern boundary is marked by the river Ganga. The valley forms a sub-catchment for these two major rivers feeding them with water throughout the year. Dune Valley is fortunate with heavy rainfall, which helps in maintaining its green wealth and conditions for cultivation in the region. The abundance of water and the tempered climate induce the Britishers to start some of the most important institutes in the country, like the Forest Research Institute, the Indian Military Academy, and a number of prestigious schools. This trend continued after independence with the establishment of many organizations and institutions like the Oil and Natural Gas Commission, and the Wadia Institute of Himalayan Geology. No wonder the valley has attracted tourists from all over the world and has a central place in the economy of the Garhwal region. The Dune Valley is fortunate to have beautiful renewable forest resources, a salubrious climate and ample amount of water which has attracted visitors to the hill stations like Missouri. It has also got some of the most pure limestone deposits of Asia in a synclinic formation right below the Missouri hills. The question is which natural resource is more important and how they should be exploited. The quarrying of limestone definitely gave a temporary boost to the economy of the Dune Valley. It provided jobs to many people and raw material to many big and small industries. Yet, why has the limestone economy been strongly opposed by the people both in the urban as well as in the rural areas? What ecological destructions have been created by quarrying of limestone? Due to the mining operations, the debris got piled up everywhere. The fertile and grazing land is submerged under it. Forests have been destroyed. Due to the blasting, there is a constant threat of stones falling on our houses, cattle and trees. This river which was 20 feet wide and had water throughout the year, has now completely dried. When I came here as a young bride, this was just a narrow stream. There was one water mill at this bank which was washed away by the debris from the mines. The mill on the other side was also washed away eight years ago. How can quarrying in the Dune Valley 
disturb the entire hydrological cycle in such a drastic way. The limestone quarrying resulted in loss of topsoil and deforestation. Loss of topsoil is virtually irreplaceable and takes nature a thousand years to build an inch. The removal of the topsoil and green cover resulted in decrease in water infiltration by the soil, creating floods and droughts. These limestone rocks also play a vital role in maintaining the constant flow of water. It sounds incredible. Rocks to maintain the flow of water? But how? The rainwater percolates through the cracks and fractures the limestone rocks. The carbonic acid of the rainwater reacts with the lime and widens the cracks into large cavities. The water trickles down into these cavities through innumerable seepage channels, drop by drop, as in Sahastradhara. Huge underground water reservoirs are thus formed. From these reservoirs, the water oozes out in the form of streams, springs and brooks, maintaining a constant flow of water throughout the year. But a severe impact of quarrying has been observed in Sahastradhara. The thousand springs are vanishing. White patches on the green hills of the Dune Valley have left the telltale marks of man's wanton desire to make money at any cost. The enormous surface flow of water has led to heavy loss of crop, cattle, soil and water, resulting in total destruction. A major ecological factor behind this intense destructive nature of limestone quarrying in this area is the coincidence or overlapping of the limestone belt with the main boundary thrust or the main fault that passes along the Radun Valley, making quarrying activity, particularly use of explosives in this region, highly destructive to the stability of the land mass. As a result, you see that when the land mass is destabilized and the heavy monsoon falls in this region of about 200 centimeters per year, most of it falling during the two and a half monsoon months, we see the river not only carrying water instantly going down, but it also carries the debris that the open mines actually creates for being flown down. Due to the mining operations, the debris got piled up. It came down with the floods and submerged the whole land. We became landless. This valley, which had the best water distribution system provided by nature, now faces an acute problem of floods during the rainy season. The floods lead to higher surface runoff, thus resulting in more destruction of vegetation and still more decrease in water infiltration. This decreases the soil humidity and increases the possibilities of forest fires. The use of explosives in limestone quarrying weakens the already weak rock structure. Just one explosion results in the dislocation of many rocks and the debris comes down with full force in the form of a landslide. The impact of the water crisis has drastically affected the people of Dune Valley. For women in the villages, life has become all the more difficult. They have to undergo long hours of walk over rough terrain to fulfill their bare necessities. Sabse 
सबसे ज्यादा महिलाओं को परेशानी है मर्द लोगों को नहीं बल्कि महिलाओं को है हमें हमारा जो है मुख्य गौचर जंगल सबसे पहले मुख्य हमारा गौचर जंगल बचना चाहिए घास लकड़ी और गाय बन में जो हमारी चुकती हैं हम महिलाएं सब काम करती हैं इट्स द विमेन फोक हु डू मोस्ट ऑफ द टास्क एंड फेस मैक्सिमम हार्डशिप टू प्रोटेक्ट आवर फॉरेस्ट्स एंड ग्रेजिंग लैंड द क्वारिंग मस्ट बी स्टॉप्ड इमीडिएटली द डीस्टेबलाइजेशन ऑफ द इकोसिस्टम हैज रिजल्टेड इन हेवी रिडक्शन ऑफ ग्रेजिंग लैंड एंड एग्रीकल्चरल आउटपुट यहां पर जी ऐसे ही खेत थे जैसे अभी जिसमें गेहूं हैं ऐसे ही सारे दिस लैंड वाज सो फर्टाइल दैट वी यूज्ड टू ग्रो सफिशिएंट व्हीट एंड राइस बट नाउ द होल फर्टाइल लैंड इज सबमर्ज्ड बाय द डेब्रि ऑफ द लाइमस्टोन माइंस यहां पर हम लोगों के खाने पीने के लिए गुजारे लायक बहुत अच्छी खेती होती थी धान होते थे गेहूं होते थे बड़ी अच्छी फसलें होती थी आज आपके सामने ये नहर दिख रही है नहर में पानी भी जो है इसी कारण स्रोत जो पानी के थे वो भी दब गए ये नहर भी आपके सामने है There has been a perpetual threat of boulders rolling down the slopes onto the trees houses people and cattle near the quarrying areas Stones keep on coming from the mines the forests have been destroyed We used to make these stones baskets keep on climbing from the mines but now my We brother's have house was broken too and he left We also feel insecure the forests have been destroyed we used to make these baskets for our life the greedy desire for the quarrying of limestone we have lost our occupation and its further too. exploitation has left all the inhabitants of this valley with pain and horror matlab bar bar aa rahe hum santa rahe na ki jab hum baithe hum apna shanti roop se baithe hum to hamare shanti bhang kar rahe na wo the presence of the miners here disturbs our peace we resent their repeated interference we were happy before limestone quarrying mines people have made a hell of our life they took away even my daughter but their hopes are not gone they have decided to unite and protest against the quarrying in the dune valley we decided to stop the trucks carrying away the limestone when they did not stop along with the other women i clung to the front wheel they threw stones on us but we did not give up several of us were hurt i still have a wound here khan se pareshan hokar humne is jagah par 16 september 86 ko dharna diya aur chiko karyakartaon ko apne sath bulaya unki madad li aur when things became unbearable we called the chipku movement people and based the camp at this place asal mein ye keval ped bachane ka hi sawal nahi hai ped ke sath ped aur patthar ye mil kar ke hamare pahad ko roke hue hain ped ke sahare patthar hai aur patthar ke sahare ped hai trees along with the rocks make the hills trees help in holding the rocks and rocks hold the trees these trees rocks and water together make the environment the basic question is how can this ecosystem be preserved though in many areas of dune valley quarrying has been temporarily stopped the damage has already been done where is the fresh air to breathe Where has the fertile land gone? How much of this debris will pile up? How long will these bridges and roads remain unaffected? Will this debris not reach up to the height of the hills one day? How long will these innocent villagers have to struggle to collect the bare necessities of life?
This is a question of our life and death. We have decided to save our hills by clinging on to the stones. जंगल के उपकार मिट्टी पानी और बयार मिट्टी पानी और बयार जिंदा रहने के आधार मिट्टी पानी और बयार जिंदा रहने के आधार आज हिमालय जागेगा पत्थर वाला भागेगा आज हिमालय जागेगा Oh, 